fire is very dangerous. So we want to understand fire so that we can better fight fire. Fire is a complex, complex phenomenon, very difficult to model, and especially when you add uh, complexity of terrain, complexity of, of environmental conditions, complexity of fuels. It's difficult to predict. One of major problems in the southeast of the United States is significant visibility impairment when there is a fire. When visibility is below 10 feet, we call that condition super fog. So we conducted here a, a lot of experimental work to determine what are the conditions that can lead to super fog. And now we have a new criteria that can help forest service in planning, prescribe burns. So one way to study fire would be joining forest service when they are doing prescribe burns. That's doable and we do that. However, we can never repeat that fire. So we need some kind of control conditions in, under which we can repeat experiments. And for that reason, we build a fire wind tunnel. In this fire wind tunnel, we can control environmental conditions like air temperature, humidity, wind speed, and we can repeat experiments under the same or slightly different conditions. In that way, we can determine which parameter is affecting what part of fire behavior. Thanks to our collaboration with the Forest Service, we are fortunate to join them in their prescribed burning efforts. Professor Prinsevac's research on superfog helped us understand a broader range of conditions under which superfog might form. We're getting good data that we can use to test existing models or to develop theoretical models. I'm hoping that by better understanding fire behavior, we will be able to enhance positive effects of fire and also to minimize negative effects of fire. We need fire, but we need to learn how to live with fire because we will always have fires.